Hello friends, in this video we are going to see about architectural pattern of this uh, flutter. Architecture in the sense it, it's not about uh, MVVP or MV, MVC architecture. Uh, it's uh, just a uh, building blocks, basic blocks for uh, which forms a flutter like uh, widgets, layouts. So that's the topic which we are going to cover today. So first of all, as I said earlier, widget is the entire uh, basic concepts in uh, Flutter. So everything, uh, each and everything is in, uh, in Flutter is a widget. Uh, our entire app uh, is itself a widget. Inside that widget, everything, uh, even from text view or text, uh, that everything forms a widget. A uh, widget comprise, uh, combines with another widget, forms a one widget. And then it again comprise with another widget, forms a different widget. So uh, if, if you start more than one, uh, it should categorize under some layout or layer. In that way, we can categorize uh, widgets into different lay layers. For example, we'll minimize this for better understanding. Okay, let's take this. So this my app is a one widget. As we already said, my app is a user created widget. Uh, this widget forms the basics of uh, uh, Flutter application. For this application, my app widget is a root application. It's user generator. This comes under first level, a user generator first top level. Inside that my app, we created uh, one material app widget. Uh, this is a inbuilt widget. Uh, this has some specific properties like home, uh, title, theme, everything. So this widget is one more widget which comes under second level. So root level, we have one user defined widget. Inside the, inside that user created widget, one inbuilt widget, that's a material app. That material, ha material app has few properties like title, theme and home. So this forms the second level of widget. Inside that second level of widget, we are having two widgets. So again, uh, this is a property. This, is, this doesn't come under widget. This is just a property. So uh, inside that material app second level widget, we have two different widgets. So that's a uh, my home and theme data. So theme data we categorize as a separate widget. This my home is again a, a user created widget. This is, comes under third level of widget. So first level is my app, second level is material app, third level is my home page. So this my home page uh, is again uh, one user created widget. Inside that widget, we have a scaffold widget, which comes under fourth level. Inside that scaffold widget, we have two different uh, widgets at same level. If you see, we can take app bar, one, app bar as a one widget and center as a one widget. So first level is my app, second level is material app, third level is my home page. Inside that fourth level is scaffold. Inside that uh, fifth level is both app bar and uh, this uh, center. So we can categorize both as a same level. Inside that same level, uh, inside that app bar, we have one more widget which comes under next level. Inside send, uh, inside center, we have one more text which comes under same level. So basically, this both comes under same level. This both comes under same fifth, sixth level. So this is the leveling of uh, order in which uh, we can categorize the widgets. Okay, uh, after widgets, uh, here comes gestures. So gestures, it's basically a user, uh, if something user types or something user taps, that comes under gesture. Uh, for that, we have a special widget called gesture director. Uh, gesture, gesture director is basically an invisible widget uh, that can able to capture our user interactions like uh, tapping or dragging or clicking, so whatever it may be. Uh, we, we're we going to see this gestures as a separate uh, concept itself. Just for understanding, uh, we have widget. Inside that, we have one separate widget for gestures. Uh, that's a gesture detector. Uh, we're gonna use that uh, in upcoming upcoming tutorials. Uh, and next, we uh, we can uh, we're going to see about concept of state. So state, as we already saw, we have two widgets for states. One is stateless, and another is stateful. So basic basic difference between those is in stateless, we don't have any state, and we don't need to store any information of that particular screen. But in stateful widget, we have particular state for that widget it may be one uh, or more than one uh, we can store some information inside that state and we can use uh, whenever we need inside that particular uh, widget 
that's a that's a concept of state we have to stateless and stateful okay uh, and then uh, last one is uh, layers so layers or layout uh, layout is a important uh, concept in a flutter framework we can categorize layers into multiple levels so topmost layer will be an android or ios platform specific layout which comes natively and second topmost layer is flutter's native widget so that's the second topmost layer inside that flutter's layout we have uh, multiple layouts like whatever we use uh, that's for gestures and uh, whatever we uh, we use for uh, user interactions that comes under the flutter's native uh, flutter's native uh, layers so Finally, we have foundation for the uh, Flutter app. So the, this is the layer. Like uh, first, first layer is platform specific. Then Flutter's uh, native widgets, and then our user interactive widgets, and then foundation. So that's how Flutter architecture uh, works. This is basic overview. We have to cover both uh, all three widgets, layout, gestures, as a separate uh, tutorial. So in next section, we are going to see deep about widgets, layout and gestures. Thank you.